Baltimore is counting down the days to Light City. Back for a third year, the festival is planning more lights and more love. WJZ is the official media partner of this year's festival as part of our community connection. And WJZ is live in Federal Hill right now. Tracy Leong with a kickoff for Neighborhood Lights, a special community event before the main festival next week. What a beautiful day outside for this today, Tracy. Absolutely, Mary. You couldn't ask for better weather since most of these events will be taking place outside. Here in Federal Hill, they're setting up their project. It starts at about 5 30, and they're inviting visitors to come inside their tent and paint with light and get a copy of that photo. Federal Hill is just one of the 14 neighborhoods participating in this experience that highlights Baltimore's different communities. A collection of unique stories tying Baltimore together. Bridging communities, bridging neighborhoods, bridging stories, bridging different people's experiences. Artist Ada Pinkston created the Hamilton Lorville Main Street project. Titled Light Bridge, it's located on the corner of Echo Dale Avenue and Harford Road. We, as the Hamilton Lorville Main Street, strive to engage community members at every opportunity. Their piece showcases community members etched in plexiglass with a large scale video projection and performances. Having a space for for other parts outside of the harbor to be lit is really exciting, and I feel like it's only going to get bigger from here. A collaborative project with a unifying vision that gives Baltimore's neighborhoods a chance to shine on their own before Light City launches their main festival. It really has a lot of input um, from community members um, as well as the artists. In Locust Point, the XXS group created the project Harbor Memory, spread across the wooden pier along the water at Under Armour's headquarters. And it was exactly what my vision was for the neighborhood. It was beautiful. It was serene. It was uh, environmental. The piece represents a sparkling wetland with fiber optic lighted plants. Know about public art and like uh, start a new page of Locust Point. Visitors will also have a chance to own a part of the installation. Take it away after the exhibition. So that is what we call claim your own light. An opportunity for each neighborhood to make a statement. And let's celebrate that. Let's show everybody what Locust Point can do. A festival that captures Baltimore's charming diversity. Tonight, many of the neighborhoods will also be hosting their own parties to celebrate the kickoff night. Here in Federal Hill, again, their event starts at 5.30. They have a parade at 7. And many different neighborhoods have parades as well as events that last well into the late hours, some even 11 o'clock. Reporting live from Federal Hill, Tracy Leong for WJZ. Tracy, thank you. The Light City Festival opens on April 14th as the exclusive media sponsor. WJZ will bring you all the excitement of Light City every step of the way.